Hi, this is Miss Borby. And Mr. Kerbis, and uh, we are moving on today to chi-squared by hand so that we make sure that we understand the sophisticated process, not just the magic of the calculator. Okay, the first thing I want to show you with Excel is how you can actually count your frequencies when you're doing a chi-squared chart for your observed frequencies because it's actually frequencies that have to go into your chart. And here's the data that we used yesterday. And what we're going to do now is we're going to sort the data. So the first thing that you can do is you can highlight it like this. And this is our data right here. And we're going to go up to sort, or actually up here, data, sort. And what we want to do is we want to sort this um, row D, and then we want to sort by obesity rate next, OK? So we're going to hit OK, and it resorts all of your data. And what we want to do is we want to put it into four different categories. And we're going to split the data based on the averages that we calculated. I have the averages down here. So the average obesity rate is 27. So we want to break our data in half between the lowest is 15 and up to 27. So that means that right here we can actually break our data in half. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to insert some cells there and move them down. Okay, now that we've done this, we want to sort our obesity rate also within each one of these categories, within this category and that category down there, by the mean again, which is 20.4. And let's use uh, 20.1, so anything that's up to 20 in uh, one category and greater than 20 in another. So what you can do is you can highlight right here and then you can sort within this, just this category right here. And we can do the same thing again down here. And we're just gonna sort within that category right there. That sorts that. And then we wanna break it between, what did I say? 20, right? I think so, yeah. Was it 20 or 21? 20, let's use 20. So we can then take our data in here again and break it right there. Whoops. So I'm just going to again insert some cells there, shift down, and break it again here by 20. No, it was right here, right? We want 20 included in that one. So let's do that right there. And now what we can do is it, this makes it very easy to go in and count how many um, points you have within each one of the categories. Ah, cool. Okay, so what we can do now is we see that, I'm going to pull up the, if you can still see this, this is what we need for our chi-squared test here with the observed values. And we're going to put in each one of these uh, spots right here the frequency of points that are less than 27 and less than 20.1. And as you can see, these are all less than 27, less than 20.1, and we can simply then just count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I thought it was 11 when I did it the first time. Isn't that the same? You have four 20s in the one above. I think I missed, I, I uh, actually deleted one there when I inserted something. Oh. Let's use this data right here, right? This is the same thing, sorted, right here. So we have 11 in this category, so. Let's just click on that one. Yeah, let's just go over here then. Okay, so what uh, what Mo Sporby has done is she's broken them up and she's put some uh, fancier um, things between the, the, the breaking points, but Basically, it's, it's the same data, um, but on the right-hand side, you can see the template already set up to go into, and, and uh, um, you have to think that through, but obviously, you don't want to watch us go through and set that template up for you. So now you can see there are 11. Right here in that category. And now we want to have, let's do greater than 20. And that was actually 20 right here. Now we want to go down to the bottom half because this is greater than 27. Greater than 27 and less than 20 was 15. <coughs> and the last one was 5. 
Okay, so can you explain uh, what the two columns on the left are and then the two columns sorted? Okay, the two columns on the left are exactly what I started with. That's just the data with the sort between um, 20 for bachelor degree greater than and less than 27. Okay. And then this next column right here is then sorted for less than or equal to 20. And you chose the means. Why did you 20. choose the means? Um, I think with this, with just two columns of data, the mean is a good thing to start with. Okay, but students can make their own decisions. They can make their own decisions, and now that you bring that up, actually, let's look right here. Because when you come down here and you do your expected values, if any of your expected frequencies are less than 1, or you have expected frequencies more than 20% of them are between 1 and 5, you have to look at your groupings and maybe change your groupings of data so that these numbers work out to be greater than 1 or actually greater than 5. Cool. Okay, Or if you get to the point where these numbers are less than 5, you need more data. Mm -hmm. Okay, So sometimes when you're working out your chi-squared and your frequencies are really low in one category, then you have to go back and collect more data. Uh, okay. okay, so then we have ex our expected values. Actually, right here, we can just get them from the calculator. And I did that. I, uh, I don't have those answers. Do we want to do that on the calculator? Sure. Okay, so you know, uh, nah, we no, won't we run won't through do it, it right it. there. I'll do it, it right here. And two by two matrix. So if you forgot how to put these in, then uh, just watch the, the previous podcast on that. And, okay, it's distribution, chi squared. Calculate chi squared, so I can calculate. Uh, okay, and yeah, there. So th those are uh, fifteen point eight, and then ten point two, fifteen point two, and nine point eight. Okay, Mr. Curvis did those actually on the calculator. Um, when you're doing your uh, project, it's something you want to explain one time how you get each one of these by hand using your row total, column total, divided by total total. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you, Excel will calculate those pretty quick as well. So you can see um, 31. So the, uh, 31 times right. 26 divided by this total here, which is 51. Yeah. Should be make sure your points uh, add up to the same number of points that you started with, mm -hmm. and then just like we did yesterday with our um, chi squared calculation that we get from our calculator, we want to verify that with the math, the actual math, and filling this chart out. So um, let's go ahead and put in our observed frequencies again. What were they? 11, 20, 15, and what? Five. And five. And then we can put our expected frequencies in here, which were 15.8. Is that 10.2, that one? Yeah, 10.2. 10 10.2. The 15 corresponds to, no, did I do that wrong? The 20 is 15.2, right? I can see them go the up a little bit. The 20 is 15.2. Let me go up a little bit here, if I can. Okay, we want 11 corresponding to 15.8, 20 corresponding to 15.2, 15 corresponding to 10.2, and 5 to 9.8. Okay, and then just like we did <coughs> yesterday, we're going to now calculate this, and we can take, or we could actually just do that by hand, couldn't we? Or do you want to do yeah, it with no, using, we let's do, do it Excel. using Excel. Whoops. Not mm. like that. <laughs> we want to go here. We want to go equals to this minus this. And then we want to square that. So let's do it this time like this with my carrot. Where did it go? Squared. Yeah, I don't know. Didn't like that. 
Maybe squ just type squared. Or should I do the same thing again? Yeah, that's yeah. Times. I'm typing it in now. G32 minus H32. The whole thing in brackets, I think, or times I, I accept. Okay, then you can actually just like we did pull this down. That's interesting. They're all the same, so I'm wondering if it's. That happens quite often. Does it? Yeah. Then. Then we want to set this one equal to here. We want to go this divided by this. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to pull that down. And then down here, we want. To sum them and that we got up here under sum cool. and that should be 7.58 should 7.583 equals here I have it right here from your calculator chi squared was 7.596 so there again we verified by showing the mathematics our chi squared calculation okay super anything else no that's good I think the big thing here is that you have to know that this chart of observed values is frequencies and not, frequencies, right. and not anything else. Okay. And also making decisions, uh, it doesn't always have to be a two by two matrices. Right. If you've got loads and loads of data, you know, set up yourself up with more columns. But if you don't have loads and loads of data and you set up a big matrix, you're going to end up with a problem here with your expecteds being, oi, 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 you got corners set up. Um, <laughs> You're going to end up with a problem with this less than 1 or 20% right. between 1 and 5. So make sure that those works and make some adjustments as you think. Anytime you're not sure, of course, come and talk to us that we can uh, give you some assistance. Big day on Friday. Yep. All the math. All the math's due. Do okay. The math. Thank you.